Backyard chickens like these little gals will soon be coming to a Toronto neighborhood near you after City Council passed a proposal for a pilot project that would lift the ban on raising chickens and allow residents to keep a small number of hens in their yards. This is the run. This is the run. I see. And this is the actual coop. I gotcha. Loves head tickles. Signa yes. Langford keeps four hens in her Port Hope backyard coop and is the author of Happy Hens and Fresh Eggs. For 10 years, she defied Toronto's bylaw and raised hens at her Leslieville home until she tired of battling City Hall and so she moved east just a month ago, only to discover that it's also illegal here. So now she's got another fight on her hands. For me, it's important to have that connection with the food where it comes from. Signa adores her ladies, as she calls them, and considers them very much like pets, not livestock, but says the delicious and nutritious eggs are an added bonus. A backyard egg has higher vitamin D, higher vitamin A, higher omegas, lower cholesterol. It's just a healthier food all around. When you taste the difference, you know. and. You know, like I said, again, for me, it's about animal welfare. If I could have something to do with ending factory farming, especially the hens, before I die, that would make me very happy. We're not very good flyers. <laughs> the details of the pilot project still have to be worked out by municipal licensing and standards, but we do know that a maximum of four females will be allowed, so no roosters cock-a-doodle-doing at 5 a.m., and it won't be citywide, but in four wards only. Councillors Joe Mahevic and Justin DiCiano are calling this a victory for Torontonians. There's nothing wrong with it from a public health perspective, from a nuisance perspective. They are as clean as cats and dogs. Your dad keeps chickens? He does. He's got five of them. Uh, the neighbors love them. My children certainly love them. Um, you know, the, the, the over five years that he's had them, they're all still laying eggs. He's never taken them to the vet. Uh, they eat all the bugs in the backyard. He doesn't throw away food anymore. He's got no more organic waste because it all goes to the chicken. Not everyone is on board with the idea, there are concerns about noise and smell, that the backyard birds increase the spread of salmonella disease, and that there's a potential for cruelty to animals, because sometimes the chickens are shipped via Canada Post and have died en route. Also, that they will attract predators. Certainly for the chickens, uh, to put them out there so they attract coyotes, they attract raccoons, they attract foxes, uh, that's not we want, what we want in people's backyards. So for the public safety and the public nuisance, I don't want them, but also for the uh, welfare of the chickens themselves. Signa Langford says it's about keeping the coop clean and making sure the hens are properly and securely housed. She also says her girls are quiet. There's a lot of myths, and, I, and I'm really excited that in Toronto they finally going to at least give it a try. The pilot project is expected to be up and running sometime in the next three or four months, and then municipal licensing and standards will revisit the project 18 months from then. In Port Hope, I'm Pam Seidel, City News.